Brigham Young University, Idaho is preparing young people to be disciples of the Savior and leaders in their homes, in the church, and in the world around them. Everything we do at BYU-Idaho is focused on that mission. With this in mind, there are three great imperatives the Lord would have us do to advance this university. First, we must raise substantially the quality of the experience our students have. The second imperative is to make a BYU-Idaho education available to many more young people of the church. And imperative number three, we must lower the relative cost of education. Allow me to highlight some aspects of the first imperative to improve the quality. This imperative encompasses every part of the student experience at BYU-Idaho, spiritual, intellectual, and social. To preserve and refine all that BYU-Idaho offers through this imperative, we provide various innovative opportunities for students to teach one another in classrooms and even in their apartments. Our efforts also include projects to improve the physical setting of the campus. Currently, we are working to achieve this by providing places of gathering and appropriate artwork and landscaping. In 2006, Elder David A. Bednar visited BYU-Idaho for the groundbreaking ceremonies of two major building projects on this campus, the addition to the Manwaring Center and the new auditorium. With these two buildings in mind, observe what Elder Bednar taught us about the spiritual purposes for gathering and why they are essential to the success of BYU-Idaho's mission. At Brigham Young University, Idaho, you gather to worship the Father in the name of the Son to build up the church and the university, to find defense and protection, and to receive counsel and instruction. You gather together to learn and to prepare for your mortal and eternal opportunities and responsibilities. You gather together to strengthen each other. You gather together to develop appropriate relationships and to create eternal families. You gather together to increase an understanding about the purpose and the measure of your creation. You are richly blessed to be students gathered together on the campus of Brigham Young University, Idaho. Under the inspired direction of the Board of Trustees, each construction project at BYU-Idaho, from buildings and walkways to courtyards and gardens, presents greater opportunities for students to gather to worship, find protection, and receive instruction. Many people visit this campus and talk with me about their experience. They often remark on the special spirit they felt, the friendliness of the people, and the beauty they find here. This experience and these feelings come from the harmony and the spirit that prevail here. Each element of the campus, individually and collectively, invites us to feel the influence of the Holy Ghost. And in this setting, students are inspired to reach their potential. To help invite that special spirit, we bring beauty and holiness to the campus with appropriate artwork inside the buildings and carefully planned landscaping of outdoor spaces. Everywhere you look in this sacred and set-apart place, you can see and feel the university's mission to prepare disciple leaders. I've addressed here just a few ways we're preparing young people to be disciples of the Savior by improving the quality of the BYU-Idaho experience. Other areas of concerted effort include further development of the learning model, implementation of the Foundations program, and many aspects of experiential learning, teaching, and leadership among our students and faculty. With all of us working together as one to bless the lives of students, this university continues to move forward on the steady upward course the Lord has set. And with your participation and philanthropic support, we will continue to bless the lives of thousands of students. Thank you for joining us in this remarkable work.